Hey guys, welcome to our next game. You may be wondering what it is we're playing. What are we playing, David? I love you, Colonel Sanders. <laughs> A finger licking good dating simulator. Let's get started. Our name. I don't want to put Chad. I want to. <laughs> I don't know what to put. We could put. It's got to be chicken related. Yeah, exactly. Our name can be Pollo. That's chicken in Spanish. Mm. El, El Pollo. Well, let's do that. El Pollo. All right. Oh, how delightful. Are you <laughs> hungry? Dude, this game's going to make me hungry, man. Oh no. Oh, I guess I'll, I'll read this. Um Oh, if there's different characters, we could we could do um voices for the characters. We you could. <laughs> you sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. <clears throat> Dude, look at the poster. And we got like oh, that's a fantastic poster. I Both could act them. I could see you having that poster. <laughs> All right. The world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in in the moment forever. <laughs> oh, <laughs> is that our alarm? <laughs> oh no. Or you could wake up now, now, now. Your first day of culinary school is no time to sleep in. Smack that alarm and up, Adam. Wow, that prompt could have come way earlier. <laughs> Lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning. Your mind begins to wonder. Who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? Time begins to fly by, and you find your imagination getting away from you. You need to take this seriously. I think we'll just daydream. We'll just relax. Oh, we're gonna relax? We're gonna relax a little bit. It's finally here, your first day of culinary school. So many dishes to prepare, so many students to meet. Your mind is swimming with possibilities when you realize you're running late. You grab a biscuit and burst out the door in a hurry. And do you know what kind of biscuit we grab? <laughs> it's a <laughs> sea biscuit. Nice and healthy. Oh my goodness. Just what you need to wake up those taste buds. <laughs> this, is, this is incredible. It's a nuclear biscuit. Oh, uh, yeah, exactly. It's been cooked twice. Yikes, you're in such a hurry. In fact, you forgot to put on any deodorant before running out the door, haven't, haven't we all? You're sweating buckets as you rush to arrive on time. Uh oh. Forget. It's on purpose. Oh, that's a beautiful school. Wow. I'd like to go to that school. Standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. Here comes your lifelong best friend forever, Miriam. Oh, she's the most adorable, awkward person you've ever met. You absolutely love her for it. Oh, Miriam. Good morning, El Pollo. <laughs> Are you excited for the first day of our rest of our lives? Alright, I guess I'll do Miriam's voice and uh, you do the next so person's voice. Yeah, okay. I didn't I didn't realize that she started talking. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought we were gonna tell her good you morning. <laughs> Go ahead. What'd you say? It's too late, you've already started. I'm so sorry. Hey, you're good. Actually, I'm because I sure am excited, a little nervous. Okay, okay, a lot nervous. What it's just that this morning I made breakfast for myself, but, well, when I ate it, I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? Classic Miriam, raised by Master Chef parents, she's always held herself to a very high standard. Ever since we were little babies... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's actually us. Ever since we were little babies playing together and you rescued me from that quicksand box, it's been clear to me that you were the most loving, caring person I know. You're gonna do great. Oh, she like she's crying. But the University of 
cooking school academy for learning's famous three day only. Se- oh, this this semester is only three days long. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be an intense three days. Oh no! When do we get to meet the colonel? I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up <laughs> in a day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> A sweet girl, Miriam, has always been a flair for the dramatic. This summer, she's got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped a tooth practicing on a mannequin. (laughs) (laughs) What? Should you pep talk her? Or change the subject to give her some relief? Let's talk. Let's pep talk her. Remember last month, whenever we saw that fortune teller and we had our tarot cards read? The lady with the mask who gave us nightmares? I've been trying to forget. I know she looks spooky, but she was so sweet and she told you that you were destined for great things. Remember the card with the fancy looking tower and the other card featuring the handsome fellow in the red suit? I've been waiting so long to meet a handsome fellow I could call my own. I'm sure you will so- I'm sure you will soon. Man, like I gotta pay attention to that top corner. <laughs> In no time, we'll be graduating, and you'll be delighting the world with your heartfelt cooking in no time. As you talk Miriam up, you can feel her nerves begin to ease. You know what? Maybe everything will be okay after all. And if not, at least I have these killer bangs. <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> can you believe I cut them myself? I, I think we can. We can <laughs> definitely believe that. You can definitely. <laughs> I, I, for us. This I know. This is delightful. I'm actually like I've been grinning, man. Man, I can't wait for our next character. I'm tired of talking. I uh I cannot believe it. Before you can get another word out, you're rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hands and onto the ground. <gasps> hey. It's Ashley, your arch rival. She's totally evil, but you can't help but be filled with jealousy. She can get anything she wants, and she knows it. Hey, A- Ashley. <laughs> oh, I didn't see you there, chicken shins. You leave El Pollo's <laughs> shins alone. They're perfectly normal shins. <laughs> You can't stand Ashley. She's... Even her name is annoying. You know for a fact that it's actually Ashley, but she had to add extra letters to make herself feel better than everyone. If anyone here knows what perfect shins looks like, it's us. (laughs) What is this? We're not going to let you or your really weird insults get to us. Across the quad, you see Ashley's best friend, Von Von, the Mon Mon. He stopped to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight, you can casually... You see him casually working out his glutes while he styles his hair. No lie, they're rocking glutes. Oh my goodness. Ahem. Van Van. You, you can speak for Van Van, too. You rang rang. You've never been sure what the arrangement their arrangement is, but as long as you've known them, Ashley and Von Von, Von have just been as close as you and Miriam, but substantially more devious. Yeah, he looks pretty devious. Look at that faux hawk. <laughs> I can't believe that University of Cook of Cooking School Academy for Learning would ever allow people like you to attend as students. I know, right? You'd think they'd just hand us our diplomas now. Oh, brother. Maybe hire us, honest <laughs> professors. You amateurs can learn a lot from us. This guy, this guy. <laughs> Look at the size of his belt, bro. Good night. And he's got a star in his hair, too. His hair is a star. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Is he combing it? Is that a comb in his uh, left hand? Like it. Yeah, he's combing his star hair. But the first day of school about to start, there's just not there's just not time to properly tell these two off, so you resist the urge. Oh, good. 
Let's go, Miriam. Psh. See you later, losers. <laughs> As you approach the door, you see a goofy-looking kid pushing hard against the window directly next to it. <laughs> I'll let you... Why don't you talk for Pop? Mm. Oopsie. I think it's broken. <laughs> you reach forward and easily... I <laughs> didn't even see the ghost. It's so cute. Look at the little ghost. You reach forward and easily pull the door open. Uh, that should do the trick. Oh, wow. <laughs> I love you. Oh, easy there, Pop. <laughs> easy there. I, I, I thank you. I mean, thank you. <laughs> my name is Pop. I was named after my Pop Pop. He's old. Could someone like this also be a student at the school? He must be one incredible chef. Also, his name tag clearly says Bob, but he's <laughs> reading it upside down. <laughs> Hi, Pop. I'm El, El Pollo. So, are you going to make me hold that door all day? Nope. And with that, the young man walks into the building ahead of you. Is it just me, or is he kind of cute? What in the world, Miriam? <laughs> I think it's just you. Oh, she likes younger men. Yeah, apparently. Maybe she just meant these cute for a little kid, you shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. You stand at the edge of the room unsure where to sit. Other students wander in and keep themselves busy chit-chatting. <laughs> that is a scruffy looking dog. A scruffy looking pooch takes his place at the podium in the front of class. Adorable. Oh, his name's Sprinkles. Now, now. Quiet. <laughs> Quiet down, everyone. Who is this unreasonably cute pup, and why is he in our culinary class? You must be Sprinkles, head instructor and CEO of USC... <laughs> U-C-S-A-L. Please, uh, call me Professor Doc. I may be cute and little and fluffy, but I'd still demand respect. Woof. <laughs> <laughs> What a cute little dog is our professor? Or a cute dog is our professor? This is the best school ever! I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuances of fine dining. Now I don't know where when it begins to brush her out here. The swirl of cherry blossom petals fill the air inside the classroom. That dog is so adorable. He's a little corgi. I love that you gave him the voice of Crunk. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah, tried to go deep for the doggy. <laughs> I'm chilly. Someone closed the window. And then he walks in. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll let you do his voice. <laughs> You're immediately swept up in the aura of this new student in his remarkable goatee. Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stand, stand still. Wow. It, it's him. It's... If it isn't my favorite student, Harland. Colonel Sanders <laughs> interrupts Sprinkles. Sorry, Professor Dog, before he can finish his sentence. Mm, please, call me Colonel. <laughs> you know, when I was a kid... I used to think that, like, his, because I saw, always saw it as, like, Colonel, Colonel yeah. Sanders, so I, I one time was like, wasn't KFC started by Colonial Sanders? <laughs> 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 like an idiot. <laughs> Colonel Sanders. Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Good homage. A hushed murmur rolls across the classroom as as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of desks, suddenly the room is sweltering. Sweat begins to beat across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you. You're not e entirely and wrong. <laughs> I 
And this over there must be sweaty sweats a lot. Maybe we should open that window back up before faucet pits melts into a puddle and evaporates entirely. Now hold on just a second. Nobody talks to my friend like that. You know, you two both know my name. We were in the same kindergarten class. What is with all of you, your really weird insults? Besides, when El Pollo sweats, it's not gross. It's beautiful. Look at that shiver. <laughs> you find Colonel Sanders standing in front of you. Colonel Sanders, beautiful angel that he is, stands before you, smiling gently, his hand outstretched. Oh, no. oh boy. Boy, howdy. This classroom gets hotter than a Kentucky fryer. <laughs> Look at his Please. forearms. <laughs> 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 Bro Still lifts. That chicken. Oh my goodness, man. He's lifting them chickens. Please use my handkerchief. You freeze up. Colonel Sanders is talking to you. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> that goatee, though. This is back before he had like a big goatee. Wait, Colonel Sanders is talking to you. But how sweaty you look? You're completely mortified. This can't be your first interaction. What if he never forgets this moment? How will you respond? We're definitely taking that handkerchief. I mean, look at him. You stretch out your hand and Colonel Sanders places a fine silk handkerchief in it. It's so beautiful. You hesitate to press it on your face, but when you do, the feeling is transcendent. It has its it, his natural scent on it. Gross! It, the scent... <laughs> It smells of the most delicious chicken you've ever smelled. Professor Dog steps in to settle the class down and set down set some ground rules. Welcome to University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning, the greatest culinary academy in the world. The birthplace of culinary legends past, present, and future. Many challenges await you. There will be tears. There will be blood. There might even be really adorable tiny food and when all is said and done there will be battle <laughs> you will <laughs> lift your sporks and compete in the brooms or in the broom i thought that was an s cooking arena just then another student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor's rousing speech <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, i'm sorry i'm late hope everybody had a good summer I really miss quiet. Late to class is bad enough, but interrupting my monologue? You're on the fast track out of here, young man. Are you sure you're even in the right place? Do you recognize me? This is my third year in the school with you as my teacher. Everyone stares at him blankly. Does no one remember me? I'm You're expelled if you utter one more word before I finish. <laughs> Look at this butt. <laughs> Let that be a lesson to you students that tardiness is unacceptable. <laughs> like from Adventure Time. <laughs> unacceptable. <laughs> <laughs> Even Clank made it here on time, rolling halfway across town. Oh, I can't wait to see Clank <laughs> down on his tiny wheels. You turn to see the student Sprinkles is referencing, who appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen up. What? Where? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. The class bursts into laughter. Is that like a frying. A frying. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know. Oh, I don't That's know. What was it? His, one of his eyes is a <clears throat> like a temperature dial. Or something, a gauge. Oh, clank, you rascal. Sprinkles walks in the classroom as everyone stands in silent obedience. When he gets to you, he lifts his nose in the air and takes a deep sniff. Mm, your diet is lacking based on what I'm picking up here. You definitely need a multivitamin. You should be taking better care of yourself. You've never had a talking dog as a teacher before, but Sprinkles' reputation for being smart but tough is well known. 
You decide to try to butter him up by giving him a treat from your pocket, but what kind? What are we giving him? Oh, are we staying on theme? Yeah, on I think brand? I think we should stay with the Kentucky brand. You reach beneath your apron and return with a chicken snack in your hand. Sprinkle's eyes go wide as he locks onto it. His favorite. Oh, look at his little tie clip. Well, well, well. I think there might be some competition for a new star student. The furry professor immediately devours the snack, leaving her hands slick with a <laughs> coating of warm doggy drool. You see the other students eyeing you jealously, but pay no mind to them. If they wanted to succeed in life, they would have learned the importance of carrying a range of dog toy <laughs> flavors on them at all times. That's right. That is right. Also, who is this guy in the background back here? <laughs> <laughs> Poster? Yeah. I, oh, I can't. Settle down, young chefs. Take your seats and prepare to have your minds open to the amazing possibilities of culinary creation. As everyone rushes to claim their favorite <laughs> seats, you you are left behind at the front of the room. Only two options remain. Oh no! Hey, old oh. you There's a seat here. Um, seems no that no one has claimed the seat next to me. If you're interested. Hmm. Can we just appreciate that beside all these math equations, there's just a bucket of shit. <laughs> I wish that school was like, I would have had all A's if it was just about chicken. <laughs> I'm obsessed with chicken. Um, this is a hard choice. Um, I'm trying to, I'm kind of leaning toward Miriam. Like we don't, we she's our best friend for life. We don't even know this guy yet, and so far he's given us his colonel scented handkerchief. What do you think? <laughs> mm, solidarity. Yeah. It's Miriam. Yeah, let's go with Miriam. Do it. Do it. Let's sit by our best friend. You move to take your seat by Miriam. I'm so glad that you to have you near to support me through class. Of course, you're my best friend. Who else wouldn't I sit by? Colonel Sanders <clears throat> is such a magnetic personality, and there's a seat open right next to him. If you had sat there, you might have gotten to know him a little bit better. I'd never sacrifice our friendship. Besides, I'm sure I'll get a chance to talk to him later in the semester. I've got three whole days. That's <laughs> like a long time. That's right. That's right. Three whole days. That's all it took in Majora's Mask. So, so you say, <clears throat> but now that Mary mentions it, that Colonel Sanders is just so dreamy. As soon as you've settled in your seat, the professor makes an announcement. Think fast. It's time to for a pop quiz. Quiz about me! <laughs> That's such a dad joke. <laughs> <laughs> this incredibly important and surprisingly short exam will tell me if you are ready for life at culinary school. Keep your knife sharp and your focus sharper. Here comes question number one. If train A is traveling to point B and train B is traveling to point A, how important is it to wash your hands before cooking? Extremely looking at you, Pop. I, I think, I think, <laughs> let's just go with extremely. That's right. That's right. That's right. Forest is to tree as chicken is to. Mm. A slam, a slam duck. I, oh goodness! I have to find out whoever made this game. I have to see what else they've made. This is so <laughs> nice. I love this vibe. This is just a chill vibe, you know. Are you gonna start playing dating simulators all the time now? Uh, if they're outrageous, <laughs> if they're outrageous like this, I think it would be a lot of fun. It's more fun having having you here, though. Like, I probably wouldn't be like nearly laughing as much and I'd have to come up with a ton more voices so I'm glad you're here 
What is the most efficient eating utensil ever created? <laughs> A comically <laughs> oversized fork. That's right. What food okay. is bad? Go ahead. Uh, he, uh, he doesn't stop going on about sporks. <sighs> the sporks are a big part of this game. And I guess that since they were adopted by KFC wholesale, like you're going to see it all throughout. <laughs> is that all you get from KFC? They used to Maybe they used night. to give you sporks because um you can pro- the they probably yeah for the potatoes and maybe mac and cheese yeah I don't know what you would use what you would ever use the um the fork part of the spork for them what? <laughs> did you see this chicken head on the pedestal by the way it's <laughs> <laughs> ridiculous what food is Very best. Nice. For a broken heart, camel meat. <laughs> um, I mean that one's a pretty, that's a good runner-up. Nice. That's I think nice. I think we'll go with uh, anything as long as it's prepared with love and not too much salt. Oh, not camel meat. And now we next time we'll choose camel meat. <laughs> <laughs> Is Sprinkles a good boy? No. He's a talking dog that oh. teaches at culinary school. He's the best boy. Oh. What is, this is the James Stevens answer. <laughs> That's right. He's the best. Oh man, James Teacher's could, pet. Does he have a pocket protector? Oh my goodness. This little <laughs> doggy thought of everything. Your total score is oh, we got five out of five. Nice. See, I told you I could pass this class. Be honest. Did you cheat? You look up to see that Colonel Sanders has been watching your tally. You tally your score. He's impressed. I know we just met, but I have to confess. I think you have a beautiful brain. What diggity, El Pollo? You just scored some major... Colonel Sanders points with that performance. May I have your attention, students? I have an important announcement to make. Time for lunch. Oh, Stewart Cafeteria. Oh, the cafeteria is as nice as any restaurant you've ever eaten at. It makes sense that a school dedicated to cooking would also be serious about eating. How beautiful. Ever since 2015. A delicious fragrance wafts through the room and tickles the end of your nose. Your mouth waters. Do you smell that? That must be our lunch. It smells really crazy good. Everyone, can I have your attention? Is it about lunch? No, I just wanted to apologize for my tardiness. You see, I was... Howdy, folks. I'd like to make an announcement. Hey, I was... It's about lunch. Everyone cheers. <laughs> but I... Shh! Lunch, lunch, lunch! <laughs> she said shh. <laughs> In honor of the new semester, I have prepared something special to share with it. Everyone for lunch. Uh-huh. That must be the smell I smelled. Indeed, that smell. Yeah, it's those manly forearms. <laughs> Maybe he's sweating. Yeah, That's what seriously. We're oh goodness, man! The, Colonel that bro- Sanders smells like chicken. If he doesn't, Fried no one, chicken. no one does. You hold your <laughs> breath, waiting to see what food that mysterious student has created. You've heard he's very talented, but were the rumors true? Is this? <gasps> oh! Colonel Sanders lifts a large bucket of chicken above his head. Its contents glimmer in the light. Piled high are huge pieces of chicken breaded and fried to a crispy golden finish. The aroma envelops you, and you begin to feel warm and safe. Kind of like old Greg felt... Colonel Sanders has filled a bucket with chicken? What a novel concept. 
Your stomach begins to grumble as if to say, Stop thinking and start eating. For years, I've been developing a secret recipe for the perfect fried chicken. By my calculation, nothing less than 11 herbs and spices are required to achieve the perfect balance of flavors. You look around and notice that every other student has a pen and paper and is scribbling notes as fast as they can. Write that down! Write that down! <laughs> <laughs> but that's all I'll say about that. You think we want your stupid secret recipe, dude? Pasha! <laughs> no, my dude, no! <laughs> I'm just, uh, drafting the last will and testament in case uh, one of those ingredients is a uh, poison. Got him. He looks around nervously to see if anyone else is laughing at his sick burn. You wait to see what Zinger Ashley has prepared to follow up, but she suddenly takes a different approach. Yeah, and I was just like writing in my diary. Dear diary, today I smelled something beautiful. I knew at that moment that only the hands of a true gentleman could fry chicken so tender. <laughs> it takes a tough man to make a tender chicken. You see her body language change from bitter to evil and evil to sweet and innocent as she slides closer to the colonel. She realizes that he is destined for greatness and fame with cooking skills like this. She wants him all to herself. Oh no, Van Van's getting jealous. Oh, please. Hmm. Well, Van Van the man man, if you don't want any. I'll take, I'll take his. Well, hold on. I mean, I guess I'll try it. He takes one bite and his eyes grow wide. He starts contorting his face as he tries to hold in his pure exhilaration and act unimpressed. Easy now. There's enough for everyone. Please, my fellow classmates, dig in. You take one of the pieces of fried chicken out of his bucket and sink your teeth into it. It's amazing. Tasting Colonel Sanders' food <laughs> transports you to another dimension. Alone with your taste buds, gripping a drumstick in hand, you float weightlessly. Focus your mind and meditate on this moment. Try and identify every flavor. Savor the moment and everything that tells you about Colonel Sanders' culinary heart. Swim toward the light. <laughs> I like the I like the last one. That one's funny. It's probably gonna we're probably gonna regain consciousness and go somewhere we don't want to go. <laughs> it's no it's telling. Like swimming in chicken grease. Gotta swim. What do you think? What would you like? We gotta swim. All right. Yeah. Let's, you know. Let's go swimming. Somewhere up ahead, a bright light beckons you. The flavors are so intense you become wrapped up in them. Unable to resist, you reach toward the light. It grabs your hand and pulls you closer, closer, until your fingertip connects to the end of everything. You are forever lost in the land of tender fried chicken bliss. Your mind dissolves. There is no El Pollo now. There is only herbs and spices. Though Miriam tries to revive you, she cannot. Oh, oh game my. over oh my goodness can i like try again from uh that point do i have to do we have to start all the way there's no way bro there is no way oh my goodness we should no larry don't look at the light i can't help it it's so beautiful all right let's uh let's get to that that option again I can't believe that it unlifed us. Wait, is this a skip button? That doesn't seem to do anything. 
This seems faster. So many sounds. It is really, f yeah, it is really funny that Ashley starts falling for the colonel. All right, well, we we tried swimming, but it was a piranha pond. Taste of death. Yeah. Yes, we better meditate through this one. All right, let's try meditating. You let that food rest in your mouth and focus on it, scrutinizing every flavor. Salt? Maybe? Pepper? Too, too obvious? Oregano? Basil? But maybe there's something else. Something dark. Something spicy. You dig deeper. 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 <laughs> yes, e even deeper still, until you find it. <laughs> Could it be? White box. <laughs> he really did it. How bold to use white box. <laughs> he tried to go even, even deeper. Deeper, Tina, into the sea of flavors. <laughs> Where's Grandma? Get some dinner. <laughs> but this revelation alone is more than you can handle. You snap out of it and realize that this information was meant to remain a secret, and yet, now you know. And knowing is half the battle. A mantle of responsibility now rests upon your shoulders. That's right. <laughs> oh my goodness. You look around. You even realize that everyone in the room is consumed by lunch. The lunch. No one has even noticed that you've traveled through t space and time. After tasting his food, you try to go get some one-on-one -on -one time with the oh colonel. Boy. Oh, baby. It's the only option. What? We're just, we're so entranced. We have to go for it. That's right. Colonel Sanders smiles ever so softly as you approach. Ever, ever, ever so softly. He stops what he's doing and allows you to break the silence. He, thank you for allowing us. <laughs> How kind of you. Uh, Colonel, um, I, I, I wondered if I could talk to you for a second. Anything for a fellow chef. What, what exactly was on that chicken? <gasps> Ecstasy. <laughs> How bold to come out and ask. It's an idea I had for a new combination of flavors that would make me my fortune and establish my legacy for all time as I open a chain of highly successful fried chicken restaurants. No big deal. I think I know what That's I'm getting you for down. your I think I know what I'm getting you for your next birthday. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that you and me here talking, I I can keep a secret. In fact, I've got some some of my own that I'd be willing to trade. If you get me something for my birthday this year and you wrap it, I'm probably not going to open it now. <laughs> well, if it's a long staff looking <laughs> box <laughs> with a chicken shape in <laughs> just, <laughs> just wrapped no, very obviously. Still not going to open yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, What's man. the rush? The semester's only getting started. We've got two more whole days to get to know each other. <laughs> I keep forgetting it's only two. Do it with that finger. Oh, no. Yeah. Kiss it, chicken. Kiss it. Kiss the finger. I keep, <laughs> I keep forgetting it's only three days. And, and every time that they talk about what a long time they have, it kills me. <laughs> He's clearly not going to give up that easily, but it doesn't hurt to be persistent. You know what they say about secrets, Colonel? Shouldn't learning be fun? You've got moxie, I'll give you that. <laughs> the only thing I know that moxie is, is that a uh, drink that you can get at Pops of Arcadia. There's like an old cola. What? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, there's an old cola you can get called Moxie. That's the or Roxy Moxie, maybe. 
That's the only moxie thing I've ever heard of. I didn't even know what it meant. Sounds like a poison. Yeah, yeah. It does. Like moxicillin or something. <laughs> Colonel Sanders looks both ways to make sure you're truly alone and leans in. You can feel his warm breath as he whispers. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Just one ingredient. But you can't tell. I use white box. It's something my great grandmother taught me. White box. Wow. You never would have guessed that. In fact, you're not even sure whether you, you'd get some if you searched. Searched and white, what? And white box definitely isn't the flavor you've tasted before. So you're two ingredients closer to knowing the full recipe, but you don't tell Colonel Sanders that. While you're wrapped up in that huge <laughs> Revelation. You notice that Colonel Sanders has disappeared. While everyone else is still in the cafeteria, you decide to look for him. You find oh this music. Oh. A nice little accordion? You find Colonel Sanders outside playing the accordion, standing in the quad. Oh, it's you again. Howdy. It's been five seconds. <laughs> Sometimes I like to come outside and look at the school buildings. I think about how my story will continue on after I've graduated. Sounds like you have big plans. I dare say the biggest. I will leave my mark on this world. You can bet on that. Yeah, you will with those forearms. Massive. <laughs> Good night. Alone together for the first time, you figure now is the perfect moment to show him your your personality to him. Neg him to show your own strength. I've there's some words in this Moxie and you Neg. Gonna, you gonna challenge those forearms? I, we haven't seen our appearance. Like we're probably a wimp. We're probably that kid that was late to class. <laughs> wow, him with the big idea to add an additional ingredient to really spice things up. Ooh, that's the dangerous answer. That, that is a dangerous answer. He may take offense to that. Um, you can play safe. Let's for now. Yeah, I mean, do we want to go swimming again? <laughs> 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 um, I'm gonna go with. Let's let's go swimming, man. Let's just see. All or nothing. Here yep. we go. You know, about that, I was thinking about your secret recipe. I don't doubt it. It has a way of leaving an impression on all who taste it. You decided to show him that you also know a thing or two about blowing minds with new flavors. I actually had some thoughts about how you could improve it. Improve it? You want to change my secret recipe? And you think you can do better? It's not. <laughs> we definitely went swimming. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever heard of habanero peppers? <laughs> we're going to make some. Goodness. We're going to Nashville for this chicken. Heard of them? I tend an entire garden of chili pepper varieties. Habanero. Pablano, Cayenne. Well, that's not the point. You can't just toss new ingredients into my secret recipe. Expect to improve it. A recipe is about balance. It involves careful consideration and refinement. <laughs> I, I did I didn't... realize he should be Southern. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're totally good. I don't know. I don't even know if this one's Southern. I didn't mean to... Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Let this be the last time you improvise on my recipes, El Pollo. I'm headed back to class for the next lesson. Well, that certainly didn't go as planned. <laughs> You'd better head back inside, but you wait a moment so that Colonel Sanders doesn't think you're desperately chasing after him. You step into the massive cooking arena where the afternoon lesson will take place. Each student gets an oven and all the tools and ingredients they could need. So we definitely have to go like 
safer on some of these next options around him to get back in his good graces. Look at this place. It's magnificent. Finally, we get to show our stuff. Wait a second. Oh, no. We have to show our stuff. What if I totally blow it? You're not going to blow anything. Maybe, except maybe kisses to the crowd of fans you're going to earn with your signature adorable tiny food creations. Oh, sp Sprinkles is going to love that. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, students, to the cooking arena. For today's lesson, we will be cooking with partners. Hurry up and pair off. Naturally, Miriam looks over at you, but unable to control yourself, you bounce on Colonel Sanders. Hey, Cur Colonel, I, would you like to take this tackle this lesson as a team? A team of two, that is, me and you, if that wasn't clear. Want to be my partner? Sure, El Pollo. I'll prepare our station. Oh, Miriam's crying. This, we're breaking hearts in this simulator. <laughs> Without you as a partner, Miriam is left standing all alone. That's so sad. Two different students quickly take notice. Oh, no. Not those meanies. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Hello, new partner. <laughs> Entering self-destruct mode and five. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, T two potential partners. I'm I'm so sorry, gentlemen, but I I don't know who to choose. It looks like you'll have to pick for her. Friends' duties can be a little awkward, but that's the price you pay for not being forever alone. <laughs> or oh, I, dude, am I dyslexic? Am I just now learning this? Like, <laughs> I've been twisting so many words around in the prompts. Uh, do you want to ask to be Miriam's partner? Or who do we want to ask to be Miriam's partner? <laughs> Come on, man. We, we have, have to. We, we have, have to. to. <laughs> it wasn't even an option. It was just Clank. Pop wasn't even there. So Sorry, Pop, um, but I think Miriam will be partnering with Clank today. Very good. I will not self-destruct. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> it's okay. I already ate. It's not entirely clear if Pop has any idea what the point of school even is at this juncture. Oh, little Bob. Clank is clearly excited to have some attention. He heats up and begins to roll back and forth. Oh, no. <laughs> warp, warp, warp. <laughs> this pleases Clank. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had a girlfriend before. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on there, fella, if we don't even know the assignment. <laughs> the assignment yet. <laughs> this is such a stupid thing. I can stop laughing. That, that, that friar looks so stupid. <laughs> I'm trying to collect myself. Oh, technically, Clank might not have a face, but there's something charming and earnest about him. Look at his yeah, little chef nice. hat, you know? That's the way to put it. Oh, <laughs> wrong answer. Tissue. <laughs> <laughs> Tissue. I hardly know you. <laughs> Clank chatters and the panel shakes loose. You get the impression that this is a sign of affection. <laughs> oh no. We are moving to the next level. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we will get to first base. <laughs> Exchanging social security numbers. <laughs> oh my goodness. Clank, put some pants on. Yeah, seriously. Oh, I didn't even notice. Yikes. <laughs> Looks like you two will be fine. 
Now it's time to focus on your own cooking classwork. All right, you two. For today's lesson, we'll, we're going to keep it simple. Pick a basic dish and divide it up in the steps. Divide up the steps. Oh, I see. No chef is an island. It takes two flints to make a fire. You get the idea. Which dish do you suggest to your partner, Colonel Sanders? Steak tartare? Tartare? Seems easy enough. It's fancy, but you don't even need to cook it. Using octopus will blow Colonel Sanders' mind. I mean, come on, man. Like, mm. Southern as a gift. Yeah, we, we gotta play it safe. We went swimming last time and nearly drowned. <laughs> I've always been something of a d down home chef. I was thinking we could make something warm, inviting, and comforting. Maybe a mashed potatoes? <gasps> and gravy. I couldn't imagine one without the other. Colonel Sanders casts a coy look at you, causing your whole face to go beet red. Embarrassed, you quickly turn away. All this time when someone said the ter the expression beat red, I always thought it was B-E-A-T. <laughs> oh. It didn't even make sense, like, the way I was thinking about it. <laughs> like, I thought, like, you got beat so bad you turned red. <laughs> <laughs> I was so violent with my interpretation. Um, I'll go get the potatoes. No, please. Let me. Big and perfect produce is a passion of mine uh -huh. looks like things are getting pretty fresh around here does someone have a crush on colonel sanders we're just cooking partners mind your own business oh gross look at her stockings i got chicken I got legs, chicken on. legs. <laughs> i didn't even see that oh <laughs> chicken it's legs right the text yeah the text is kind of blocking it Sanders heart is my business. Oh, she's moving You better in. keep your fingers off my man. Oh my goodness. He hasn't even shown like hardly any interest in you. Did someone call for me? <laughs> this is Van's theme. Van Van's theme. Oh, uh, no. Van Van. While well, I'm over here crushing a polio's dreams. You're supposed to be taking care of our classwork. That was the deal, remember? Colonel Sanders returns, arms full of peeled potatoes. Oh, he tosses she broke them. His heart. Yeah. She toss he tosses them into the boiling water and turns his attention to you and your old friends. <laughs> what is with this music? I know, it's so loud. Oh. Howdy there, Ashley. Van Van. Are we working in? A quartet instead of a duet now? Actually, no. It looks like El Pollo was struggling, so we offered to give them a hand. You know how it is. These young amateur chefs need a lot of mentoring. <laughs> I was going to say, Colonel Sanders, maybe I could also teach you a thing or two about fancy food. Maybe one day you might be able to get up to my level. Huh? Doubt it. Don't be rude, Van Van. Personally, I have no doubts whatsoever Colonel Sanders' ability to concoct creations worthy of admiration. After all, your fried chicken was quite spectacular. But Colonel, if you ask me, <laughs> I might make God. a better partner <laughs> for you then. <laughs> I thought it was Van Van leaving. The music would leave. <laughs> it, just, it just fired right back. It lingers. Up. Yeah. This thing that has positioned itself at your station. Don't you feel deep down that we cast complimentary shadows? We fit together like a thigh on a drumstick. It just makes sense. Nothing about this makes sense, but one thing is clear. <laughs> She's coming for Colonel if you don't watch out. Ashley is actually going to at you hard. You need to ask her for you need to ask for some backup here. 
before things get ugly. Turn to Colonel Sanders, hunk of hunks, <laughs> in your time of need. Turn to Miriam, your bestie who always has your back. Um, it, it could be either. Keep it with the partner. Yeah. Maybe keep. I mean, Miriam's Miriam's exchanging social security numbers right now. Um, That's right. She's busy. she's a little busy <laughs> planning a future. That's right. <laughs> Things are going swimmingly. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> um, I don't, um, I'm not too sure where that where that we want to. We gotta get into this section quick, man. Music started over. All right, you want to go with Colonel or? I, I, I think so. I think okay, let's go with the hunk. Rely on this par- partnership. Okay, here. let's do it. I'm here to learn and express myself via my cuisine, not bicker with prima donnas. Partners were chosen at the beginning of class, so let's all respect the format, okay? You turn to Colonel Sanders to confirm that you're on the same page. I choose Colonel Sanders, and Colonel Sanders cho- chose me. Or, I'm sorry, I said, good night, I chose. Isn't that right? A businessman respects all fair agreements, from contracts to handshakes. I took on El Pollo as my partner for this activity, and I stand by it. Based on your team's behavior, I'd say you're perfect for each other. Neither of you has El Pollo's natural talent or their loyalty. That's right. Being defended by Colonel Sanders leaves you feeling proud and full of potential. <laughs> you look for sprinkle. Man, this, this music, bro. <laughs> It just keeps getting crazier. You look for Sprinkles in hopes that he might step in, but he's nowhere to be found. Stinking those cute corgis in their short but sturdy stature. Every time. You look down at your station and realize in the tension of the moment your hands have been cooking on the <laughs> You can just imagine them flying at the speed of this music. <laughs> A fully cooked mashed potatoes and gravy. Distracted by the drama, you've already crushed the boiling potatoes into a perfectly creamed, creamy mashed er, mash texture with plenty of butter and cream for flavor. Now, this the is, song this, already did that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's <laughs> no joke. It's as if your natural passion guided you to the steps of, you know so well while your attention was elsewhere. I know just what to do. Colonel Sanders extends his hand. He's holding a beautiful white porcelain gravy boat out of which he pours a smooth brown gravy smothering your nearly finished potato dish. Thank goodness, man. Gravy flows down the mound of mashed potatoes. The result looks spectacular. Granny would be very proud. Very proud indeed. That looks delicious. Honestly, man, are we are we going to KFC tomorrow? I think we're going to KFC tomorrow. <laughs> this, this game is making me so hungry. <laughs> oh, Colonel. C- Colonel. Oh, no. He holds out a spork to you. That's how you know it's love. You reach out and grab hold of it, but he doesn't immediately let go. The two of you stand holding the same spork. And for that small moment, all the madness and pressure in this crazy world caused by T-Mobile stops. (laughs) Your eyes lock. The moment is electric. Time stands still. If you love something, set it free. Oh, Colonel. Together, you dig the utensil into the mashed potatoes and lift a heaping sporkful up. <laughs> when you see Ashley with her sinister look, you know she's plotting against you to be with the colonel. And oh no! <laughs> and then, I was hoping it was gone. <laughs> and filled with rage and without thinking, you fling the sporkful of mashed potatoes right into 
Aishley's stupid, beautiful face. Ruben, do something, do something. Scooping up a fingerful, Van Van decides the dr- uh, t- decides. What am I saying? Tastes <laughs> <laughs> taste the dripping mashed potatoes and gravy and realizes that it's delicious. Hor- horrified by this revelation, he slinks away. Will he ever be able to cook something with so much love and integrity? Hold on right there, El Pollo. We do not waste food in the broom cooking arena. Colonel Sanders, I expect better from you. If you throw one more spoonful, you'll both better be prepared to eat it from wherever it lands. Potato spits! Van Van rushes back over, second dish in his hand. Mashed potatoes with gravy? Pathetic! Just a few minutes, I've prepared a full meal. Gaze upon my specialty braised tender core of octopus and my silky soft water sauce plated on a battle blade forged by my supreme chef ancestors Dude, check, check check out his his uh sauce art that's beautiful i mean honestly van van he is he is a master chef you've ignored me for too long then it's now. It is I who will have first bite, and you will all look on with envy. <laughs> How many fingers does Van Van have? It's looking a little crazy. In his left hand, the interrupting student rushes at Van Van and swipes a bit of his signature dish right off the plate. No, don't. Something about that dish doesn't strike my nose quite right. I think the octopus was rushed and may have turned in the process. The result could be toxic. Too late. It's been eaten. I uh, think I left something in the oven. I don't feel so good. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it, it, it killed him. Everyone step back. Don't take another bite. When you look back at the plate, the rest is gone. You notice the tip of the tentacle being slurped into Pop's mouth. Pop winces in pain for a moment. (laughs) Then it's almost immediately back to his oblivious self. Oopsie. Tastes like poison. The entire class has gathered to watch Pop's final moments. <laughs> Shock has frozen the whole crowd. <laughs> they are motionless as statues. The class bell rings, disrupting the moment and snapping everyone back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Oh, be so mad that he... <laughs> it would appear that Pop's enthusiasm for trying new things, despite obvious danger, has inoculated him against the poisons of all kinds. Way to go, Pop, man. What a beast. He he didn't die. He didn't die like that weak, tardy student. Also, wh- that is the weirdest looking ghost. Like, <laughs> <laughs> is he holding up his hands? Like, why me? I'm not sure the professors here make enough money. Um. Hello. I just turned into a ghost over here. Seeing that you're shaken up by the really annoying student and all of his nonsense, (laughs) Colonel Sanders approaches you. Ignored. Yeah, seriously. No one loves that. He's like Toby (laughs) from The Office. Poor kid. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Please, let me walk you home. What? Like, for real? Oh, come on. You follow Colonel Sanders out of the room. Oh. And this puts me in such a mood. Like, I gotta watch an anime later. I love this. You ever seen, like, things like Your Name? And it reminds me so much Mm -hmm. of movies like that. Gonna have to go find a good anime. At night, 
the school building has taken on another vibe entirely. It's dark, and a little more than spooky. Dare I say romantic, nostalgic, eth ethereal, even. Colonel Sanders stands in the quad's neon glow and speaks softly. Those mashed potatoes you made in class today. Before you go on, I, I want you to know they're not great representation, not a great representation of my skills. I didn't even realize I was making them. They were amazing. Tasting them, it reminded me why I became so passionate about food to begin with. Colonel Sanders is getting choked up. Obviously, cooking is important to him in a way that you find inspiring. Now you might be the perfect time. This might be the perfect time to tell him you're developing feelings for him. Colonel? Yes, Apoyo? There's something I need to tell you. Oh, no. Put it right there. There's something I need to tell you first. Oh. You see, when I was a boy, I had a dream that one day I would be the greatest chef in the world has ever seen. Keep dreaming, Van Van. <laughs> and every day since, I have been working toward that dream, day and night. Never stopping, never resting, also lifting a lot of weights, like so many weights. Day and night, up of love, da da da, day and night. <laughs> we should follow our dreams with all of our hearts, and our souls may grant them like wishes floating on a shooting star. Mm, preach, Colonel. <laughs> hey, no! I, uh, you, shut up. I'm the one here says inspirational stuff and be the star of the story. Are we forgetting that your cooking literally killed a guy? You can't prove that. Hmm. I also saw you kill that guy. What was his name? Somewhere in the distance, you hear a long, sad sigh. <laughs> Forget him. We're talking about me. Me, 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 me. I'm the hero. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the Spork Monster. It's, it's here to fight a hero. Oh, man. Uh, uh, I think I left the fridge door open. Later, nerds. How dare you threat me? Just as I was letting down my guard and connecting with another chef on an emotional level. Be afraid, be very afraid of me because I'm a monster, see? He's, he's rhyming, is he rhyming on purpose or is that just a coincidence? But before you can discuss syntax any further, <laughs> it's a turn-based fight sequence. <laughs> Oh, it's Pokemon. <laughs> what will you do? <laughs> it is Pokemon. <laughs> I think we're gonna attack. You decide to go on the attack. Which attack will you use? Cook with love. Always. Does one damage. It's not very effective. It just got real. <laughs> it just got real. <laughs> Maybe that's how you're supposed to say that. That attack really upsets Spork Monster. <laughs> Spork Monster goes on the attack. Oh, he's got gravy saliva. Did you see that? Gross. They spit hot gravy at you. You take one damage. They? Yeah. Mm. You decide to go on the attack. It worked last time, right? Cook with love. Wait, where did Colonel go? Are we fighting him as Colonel, or we're probably still ourselves? We're st probably still a little Poyo. Sport Monster is mm -hmm. feeling really threatened by your attack. Sport Monster focused its mashed mind <laughs> and draws energy from Mother Earth itself. Oh no, he's doing a spirit bomb. 
They grow <laughs> larger and more intimidating. How will you respond? Defend. You decided to defend. What defense will you use? Trepidation. Oh, that's a great... I love that word. You hold your head between your hands and mutter, This is not happening. This is not happening. <laughs> <laughs> Spork monster is no quitter. Buffed up and ready to rumble. They go on the attack once again. Spork monster uses... Utilitensil! You take two damage from the attack. If you take much more damage, you're not going to survive the battle. Oh, you decide no. to go on the attack. Cook with love. Cook him with love. Spork monster is oozing cheese sauce into the lawn of the quad. I wonder who is going to have to clean that up. Feeling vulnerable, Spork monster prepares for the ultimate attack. Rounded edge. Oh, Colonel gonna save us. Ball villain. Your reign of terror stops here. Colonel Sanders summons the energy of a thousand chickens. Pop power. Pop pie power pinch. <laughs> Pop pie power pinch does 10 damage. Spark monster is defeated. Weak chickens. You, you save me. An injured spork monster spews steam into the night. Forget mercy. Finish him. <laughs> uh, let's. I guess let's finish him. Finish him. No student will ever walk around the quad in fear again. This monster messed with the wrong chef. You ready your final attack? You'll never survive my student debt loan destruction. <laughs> That's 10 damage. Spork monster is completely vaporized. Colonel Sanders looks on in awe. You continue to surprise me, El Pollo. The defeated monster left behind a special item. It appears to be a first to be a cookbook, but upon closer inspection, it is so much more. <laughs> Oh, it's a book of magic spells with a golden chicken on the cover. Leave in the heart of the cards. You open the cover and find a library card tucked inside. The last name on it signed out is Borco. Hmm. Borco. That's, that name sounds strangely familiar. Your blood is pumping as you stand in the quiet of the night, holding the mysterious book in your hands. As you come down from the battle buzz, you just you realize that your final attack has left you completely depleted. Oh no, we're vulnerable. We're susceptible. I'm feeling that buzz, bro. The world around you be begins to fade away. We're following that light again. We're swimming. Without any energy to keep your eyes open, darkness overtakes you. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! We may have to. We may have to. <laughs> I may have to do some serious editing of this train. <laughs> I have no idea what this game's rated. The image of Colonel Sanders flashes before your eyes it's if you fall asleep. Free? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't. He must have helped you get home. I mean, what are these people going to do? It's Colonel Sanders, bro. Like, oh, and your tired state. You don't know if you could have made it without him. What a guy. You want to thank him, but you don't have enough strength to utter a single word. You feel the covers being pulled over you as you're tucked in tightly. What a nice guy. Good night, my Colonel. In your dream, you're together with Colonel Sanders. For some reason, Sprinkles is also there instructing your love. Dreams are weird. Oh, what? You wake on day two. Okay. All right. All right. We're, that was a very long day one. We're going to, David, we're going to have to do this another time. That was I thought that like it, we were at the finish of the game. You got to go for all I told three you days. It's gonna be a long semester. That's right. Oh man, yeah, we're definitely 
What is the... We never found out what this does. Oh, that's the menu. Yeah, we're going to have to... Well, I wonder if... So just save it anywhere you stop? Yeah, hopefully. We're about to find out. Well, I'm about to find out. About, how do you feel about day one? You feeling good? Feel like um, you learned some things? I, we definitely... We definitely had a time. I don't know what that was. Yeah, okay, so we're good. It's it's still there. We're gonna... <laughs> that was such a long journey. You know what? Maybe there is enough time in these three years to get to know people <laughs> extremely well. Or these three days. That was like a year. No, no, you were right. <laughs> oh, that was so... That was so stinking long. Oh man. And that rock that rock music too, man. That was intense. <laughs> I cannot believe she just that. kept coming back. <laughs> There's no telling what happened to Miriam. We never even heard Lock you home. It's <laughs> 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 not telling. Oh man, dude. Are oh, you so I'm I mean, sure we'll find out. Yeah. Are you cool with um maybe one one or like we can split it up by a day, right? Yeah, you're yeah. cool with that. Okay, I think we're gonna have to. Oh man, Jared <laughs> Jared's gonna get what he wants, <laughs> Papa Jared. <laughs> I, don't even, I cannot believe this game. I can't believe this is a thing. <laughs> I can't believe we're doing this. I know this may not even be that strange compared to a lot of dating sim simulators this is my first one to play them it does seem tame compared to just screenshots that you might find on steam <sighs> this is incredible yeah i'm so glad that you suggested playing this it's it's outrageous and it's so incredibly fun yeah well it's um <laughs> i'm gonna um i'm gonna 